Okay, so now we come to cutting out the actual cartoon dog for our project. If we go to File and Open, and in the Resources directory, we can see that we have Cartoon Dog JPEG. So if we just open this up, see the dog there. Very nice. Apart from it's stuck on a white background, which we, of course, don't want to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw completely around this dog so we have the full path shape. Um, pressing P on the keyboard just to select the pen tool. What I recommend when you're drawing around something like this is for the first point is just find somewhere that's in a corner rather than starting halfway through a curve because that can get a little bit that can cause some issues when you actually come to closing the path up once you've drawn completely around it. So if we start on a on a point somewhere I usually find that's the best the best thing to do so we'll start let's say we'll start here just up by his um, shoulder so I'm going to zoom in to say 400% so we're quite far zoomed in there again moving around the, the uh, I find it very useful to use the spacebar quite a lot when using the path tool just so that you can move on to the next bit and draw the next bit of path and then just quickly move on to the next part so that's what I'll be doing quite a bit throughout this video now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw around the entire dog here in this video which is obviously going to take I don't know quite some time probably a little over 10 minutes maybe longer I'll leave the recorder going while I do this but rather than you using this as a tutorial video you can you can by all means watch Watch me go through the entire process, and you might get—you'll probably gain some tips and things on how to do this. But alternatively, you can spend the time and go and draw around the dog yourself. And what we'll do in the next video, I will actually give you the the file with the dog and the path already complete. So if you do struggle, what I'm saying is, if you do struggle with this section, which is understandable because they really do they get they take a little bit of getting used to do these paths what we can do is you can skip to the next video where I will I'll give you the actual file that has the paths on and we will just um, take it from there and go on and cut the dog out and paste it onto the header so for any sadists amongst you that want to sit and watch this thank you very much and um, here we go we'll start drawing around the dog so like I said, I'm going to start in the corner here with the pen tool. Now, because there's such quite a strong contrast between the white here and the black outline of the dog, what I'm going to aim to do is always stay slightly within the black area of the dog. That way I'm not, if I go too close to the edge and try to do it effectively too accurately, what I'm going to get is I'm going to start getting some white areas mixed in with black here where the anti-aliasing is kicking in and I don't really want that I want I want my dog to have a nice black edge so I'm effectively going to be drawing within this black area but following the curve so here we go instead of describing every single point that I do I'm just going to go through this fairly quickly But if you follow what I'm doing, you will get a good idea of how this is done. Again, I wasn't happy with that one, so nudge the um, the point around a little bit. Now I've got a fairly straight line here, so there's no need to put too many points on there. I can pick one, say halfway, and one here. And now I'm coming to a corner part. I don't necessarily need to use the bezier, I can just click just to get it around that little corner. So I've put a little straight line in there, but at 500% zoomed in, once we get zoomed out and then the dog's smaller than the original image anyway, you're certainly not going to notice little things like that. That's, the beauty, that's why we've zoomed in so much to start with, because any, any slight inaccuracies you get whilst doing it at this level of zoom, certainly not going to show up when you get back down to a hundred percent and even even less so once we 
once we size that down to fit onto the header as well that's why when you're choosing whenever you're choosing images for your compositions in the future to be cut out it's always best to get the the very the very largest image you can find or purchase for cutting out because that does allow you to zoom in with more more accuracy and it gives yourself a better chance of getting a nice path tool, a nice cut out edge without having to compromise and leave out bits that you don't want to leave out I am waffling slightly that's because I'm just trying to get through this I realize this is not going to be the most exciting video in the set but if you do stick with it like that no need to do a curve there I'm just quickly doing a little point straight edge there but you're not going to be able to tell that as you can see it's all about getting a feel for the curves where the curves are going to go and the shapes now I'm coming to a point here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that going around this corner and just click in that corner instead of holding down just click so it goes to a point so I've sort of finished that curve and I'm starting another curve instead of having to curve around a point which is you know far too time consuming so far too accurate for what we need so just going around to see effectively this is the end of another little curve here where it dips so I'm just going to click that and then set off and start a new curve so I'm just going to click and hold down there hold down there and around here does anybody know any good jokes? No? no? OK. I guess you'll just have to listen to my voice then. You poor things. Or I could shut up, I guess. Although I do tend to find that very, very difficult. Even when the camera's not rolling. I'm not sure I should be admitting that to the general public, but there we go. So I'm just drawing around this and talking nonsense if you just joined us if you have just joined us that's quite bizarre I don't know why you would do that so I'm just drawing around his fingers now sometimes I find when you're zoomed in so close to some images especially if it's a more complex image like a piece of machinery or a vehicle you do tend to actually lose whereabouts in the image you are because the curves you're drawing just make no sense so from time to time I just like to zoom out and make sure I know where I am so we can see our curve going around there to the naked eye that looks like it's absolutely perfect so I'll just zoom back in and carry on nice straight line here so we can probably go right down to the bottom rather than doing any curves yep yeah, there we go we can see the line follows that very nicely indeed and off we go again with good curves it is one of the arts to doing this is sort of knowing when to do, do a curve when to stop a curve and it generally is when you get to a point like this you just need to click call at the end of one curve and then start another one and as you can see most of my handles that I've done throughout this they always sit parallel to the edge of the curve that you're drawing around and that's something useful to, to remember really because you can't go far wrong when doing it like this and if you do you just start again which is not fun after drawing around something for about 30 minutes and you have to start again believe me I've done that far too many times 
as I'm sure you will too and you'll want to kill Photoshop but unfortunately that is the nature of this process can be frustrating and actually I find it can be quite no I'm lying I was going to say I, I find it quite relaxing sometimes that would actually be a lie just to try and make you feel better it's not true because you have to constantly concentrate on every curve that you're doing but you tend to find you do get quicker as you go along and certainly with more practice you'll be doing this much quicker a couple of straight edges here so we can just click those rather than having to curve and back to a curve I just kind of made a mess of that one I've just gone you can see I've just gone a little bit too far out so once I've dropped that curve I'm just gonna nudge it in slightly Eleven minutes thirty nine. Good grief. If anybody's still awake, that's quite impressive. Well done. I'm sure I would have switched off by now. As much as I love the sound of my own voice, I'm pretty sure we're getting somewhere near to the end now. Or are we? No, we've still got the entire dog's head to do yet. As we started around the other side of his neck. We've started there, so we've just got his head to do now. Shoulder. Start another curve. Maybe you can put some music on while you watch this. Turn my turn the volume down on me. Maybe something by Spandau Ballet. Or for anybody under the age of about twenty four. I don't know what's huge these days. In sync, Backstreet Boys. I don't know. Take that. Possibly showing my age a little bit too much here. Then again, I think it's very doubtful that anybody is actually still listening. I could probably talk about anything I like. Maybe I will. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just draw around the dog and shut the hell up. As I think I did in I also do requests if anybody wants anything singing. Although I'm sure you would quickly regret it. I can do anything from the complete back collection of the Pogues. I wonder if this is the most boring video ever produced. I'm willing to bet that it's not far off if they were giving Academy Awards for least interesting video tutorial of 2000 and whenever. 
this will be quite high up on the the academy's list but it's doing a job for me and maybe some thrill seekers out there that enjoy watching cartoon dogs being routinely drawn around maybe there are groups all over the world crazy fetishists that get a real kick out of this sort of thing oh yes draw that line draw that line you graphic god you that's probably what nobody's saying out there right now at least I hope not as I would be immensely disturbed by that thought we're almost there kids we're almost there don't worry I mean kids in a very non disrespectful way of course I'm not suggesting that you're all children but are we all really children really no probably not again I'm waffling don't worry about me this will happen from time to time how many minutes now? 16 minutes, 17 minutes well if you've stuck with it thus far you're about to be rewarded as we come towards the end of this momentous outline drawing occasion as you can see we're right back at the beginning now I'm just drawing the very last strokes here and there we go now if we zoom out we can hardly see the line around it because it's that damn accurate really now a couple of things one is that we don't have the dog's eyebrow here so we need to do something about that and the other is the white area here which is completely isolated and blocked off we need to cut that out as well so to do that we need to create another work path because if I were just to simply click in there again disaster would occur as it would just start again and wipe that particular path out so I need to create another one so we do that with the create new path icon here it's the same icon as the create new layer but because we're in the path tab it's going to create me a new path so if I just click on there path number one so still with our pen tool selected we're just going to draw around this white bit here zoom in again no oh, I know we'll go we'll be crazy and go around anti-clockwise this time just to alleviate some of the tedium it's crazy crazy drawing around dog world we live in I'm sure you'll agree again staying within the black line not straying over onto the white because I don't want little bits of white everywhere on our final cutout oh, that maybe was a little bit too bold yes yeah, so I'll just cancel that one and draw on a little bit further down and there we go and the next one is just the dog's eyebrow which was right up here again we'll create another path over here path number two and like I said it's best to start somewhere in a corner so if we were going to start on the path it would be more difficult to do around here so we're going to start in the corner I'm just going to zoom in a couple more times as this is quite a small area just click to now we create the curvature Slips that one slightly that one. And 
down. There we go. And there we go. Fantastic. So we have our three paths. We just re highlight them. I can see that they are they're still there, which is good. So thank you very much for persevering with this video. I hope it was worth it. Just to follow somebody doing that, I'm sure you can sort of gain some kind of insight on how it's done. If we move on to the next video, we'll actually go about cutting the dog out.